Now we're going to talk about the internal rate of return method. So the rate of return, internal rate of return, or IRR, if we denote it as, as R star in the NPV function, you can view the NPV function as a function of the interest rate, right? So I star, this IRR, is the interest rate that will make the net present the net present value of your project to be zero. Okay, so this is how you compute this I star. If you compute by hand, it's usually done by the trial and error method. You have to try different I star uh, values um, until you can narrow it down um, to find and to estimate an I star that will make the NPV under this interest rate to be zero. Okay. So uh, usually, when, once you compute the internal rate of return, you are going to compare the IRR with the minimum attractive rate of return. So for example, if you want to um, deposit your money into a bank, then you will have a benchmark in your mind. So for example, if the bank offers at least a 3% interest rate, then I will deposit my money in this bank. Otherwise, I'm going to find another bank, right? If the interest rate is less than 3%, I'm not going to invest my money. I'm not going to put my money in this bank, okay? So you are going to compare the rate of return of the project with your benchmark, right? With the minimum attractive rate of return that you think you could accept, right, for the company. So in this case, we assume that, for example, the company um, that is evaluating to invest in this project um, is having a 20% minimum attractive rate of return, okay? So if the internal rate of return of this project is, at, is greater than the 20%, then this is financially viable, okay? So to compute the IRR in Excel, however, it's very, it's very easy. Uh, compared to solving this by hand. So you just click, uh, just input the equal sign and then click IRR. So the, uh, the formula name is IRR. And then you just uh, select the net cash flow series, okay, from year zero to year four, from minus 2,000 and then 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, okay. So you are choosing this cash flow series and then it's going to return to you the rate of return of this cash flow series, and that gives us 35%, okay? So that means the rate of return for this project is 35%, which is greater than the minimum rate of return, 20%, and therefore, uh, this project is financially viable. So we want to, um, so we're willing to invest in this project, okay? However, um, if you're comparing multiple projects, you cannot simply compare the IRR. Uh, the rank of the IRR may not be consistent with the rank of the NPVs. Um, to compare multiple projects using um, the IRR, we should use another technique called the incremental rate of return analysis, which is out of the scope of Chapter 7. Um, so I'm just asking you to compute the IRR of a single project and then to compare with the MAR to see if this single project is financially viable or not.